I call this a pick play. From this look, you're going to get a lot of times where the cornerbacks just miss and your receivers are wide open. He goes the slant, you can see they bump into one another, and I mean, they're both open once again. I mean, you're basically, you're getting that pick play to the point where I can throw to either one of these guys. Both of these receivers, every single time, are getting open for one-play touchdowns against everything. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a full practice mode style breakdown for you guys today. I haven't put out a full practice mode style breakdown on this channel in a very long time. It's mostly been just gameplay, and it's going to continue to be mostly gameplay, but whenever I put out a new offense on this channel every week, I want to also have a practice mode style version for people that want to really dig deep and learn all the plays. So in gameplay, I can only do so many plays because it really depends on what my opponent runs, but in practice mode, I can choose whatever defense I want. I can do all the setups I want I can do all that stuff so I think it's gonna be really good to have this so I can at least link this in the description of the gameplays so if you watch the gameplays you can just come here and get the full breakdown or vice versa if you're watching this and you want to see this in gameplay I'll have a link in the description for the gameplay so if you guys want me to continue to do this type of video every time I put out a new offense put out a practice mode Woo! style breakdown so you guys can learn it a little bit easier hit the like button let me know in the comments section that really helps out the channel the offense that I'm in is the gun stack Y flex which is an offense that I put out last year but it's very different this year because defenses play differently and they actually patch quite a few things. So there's going to be a lot to learn new if you ran this offense last year, especially when it comes to plays like the fade out, if I could find it, which got totally patched the way that I used it last year, but it's actually really good for a lot of different defenses this year. So I'm going to start off really easy. I'm going to start off with the run plays. There's three run plays here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show them first just to get them out of the way because there's not a lot to them. So I'm going to pick the inside zone, but it's really simple. You have five blockers. Anytime you come to the line and your opponent has five or less, less guys in the box you just want to switch to the run play and take it that's really all there is to it like the block there really didn't work out the way i was expecting but it's still a really good play the second best run play to me is probably the halfback quick base it's very similar to the inside zone you just have a pulling blocker so let's go and let's pick that again this play here i find if your opponent starts to predict that you're going to run the inside zone you can always hit him with this and then you get yourself an additional blocker i know a lot of pro players really like the quick base um, that play there worked out pretty good until Mika Parsons came back into the picture. But you can see how that pulling guard is actually, you know, springing me a little bit further than the inside zone. So you definitely have a good option here. So that was real quick. Like I said, I want to spend a lot of time on run plays because you guys know how to run run plays. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the dink and dunk plays next. Now, one of the best dink and dunk plays, probably my favorite, is going to be the Y sale. There's also a halfback slip screen, which is essentially the exact same thing. So I'll go over these two plays really quick. When it comes to the Y sale, you really just want to split this uh, field in half. On the left side, you got two man beaters. On the right side, you got two zone beaters. That's the easiest way to do it. The B route pulls back any zone, allowing the A route to get open underneath it. But the A route also gets open against man coverage, which is what we had here. And you can see, even though it's pretty tight coverage, it worked out. So while the A route beats man and zone, the X route also beats man and zone. But like I said, it's easy just to split the field in half, start staring at your running back as we get another man coverage there. And I had to snatch it because, <laughs> because there was just a lot of bodies flying around. But like I said, it's really simple just to split it in half. Zone on the right side, man on the other. You see right here, the guy drops back too far. The running back's open underneath. I'm not going to do this too much because like I said, this, some of this stuff's really simple. I don't want to spend a lot of time on dink and dunk plays, uh, especially since the best plays are the one-play touchdowns. But you can see, like I said, that play right there, that's probably your last read up. If I were to say my read structure, if I think it's a zone, I'm watching the running back. If he gets open, I take it. If not, I'm going to the tight end. And if not, I'm going to the X route as my third option. Now we're flying through this really quick, I know, but let's go ahead and let's go to the halfback slip screen, which is kind of the exact same play, just with a screen pass underneath. So another play, I mean, I don't typically like to run screen plays unless I have another really good route getting open. And the A route is such a route because it's a man being route and gets open really quick. I can just, you know, if my opponent drops down on the screen, I can just take that. Or I can take the zig route or the in route on the other side. All these routes are very open, very quickly open routes, just as long as I don't throw up my back foot like I did there from the pressure. The running back is not really even the, the, the key read. As you can see, I mean, the screen worked out pretty good, but at the end of the day, that's kind of like, you know, 1A or 1B, because I really think that I'm probably looking at the zig or the A route. The, the screen play a lot of times can get caught up on its blockers, getting out, sometimes defensive players can get in the way and stuff like that. It's not necessarily the most consistent, but it is a very good option, and you have two other good options on top of that. The sail and pivot is another very good play, more specifically towards man. So let's go and let's pick the Overstone Brave. I like what the Y route is doing. If you go against cover one, a lot of times that zig route can run right into 
um, you know, the, the, the yellow zone. So I really don't want to do that. So a lot of times I just like to put them on a, a zig the other way and then just work the zigs. I got my tight end on one side, who's a very good zig route. As you can see right there, it gets open. And then I got my zig route on the other side. They're basically the same thing. You got two really good routes to the edges. Next up, we have the corner strike. And this is another good concept against man or zone. Let's go and let's pick that. Now the Y route, is a speed out route very good against cover three and cover four uh, as well as cover one cover zero any man coverage or zone coverage except for cover two so that's it for all the dink and dunk stuff with the exception of one play which is going to be my transition to one play touchdowns and that's the drive h wheel because this is a very good one play touchdown play as well this play here i typically want to go to the running back the running back is going to get wide open against just about any coverage for at least a couple yards it's typically best against man coverages because you can throw it right away and the linebackers can't react quick enough but we're getting man coverage just here and you can see actually getting shut down this is the perfect scenario where you're going to want to watch the gameplays because i use this all the time in, in gameplay and it works out great but if that's getting picked up like it was there you always have especially if your opponent starts paying attention to that wheel route which they will have to because it's so hard to stop you have the a route and the b route right over the middle a high low concept that you can go to over and over uh, but this is you know this is pretty much the play these are the dink and dunks if they're really paying attention to that side in general, the X route's a speed out route, just like a previous play that I showed. So you could always hit the uh, the speed out route for a good five to six yards every single time for a good catch and run, whether it's man or zone, everything but cover two. Just as long as that cornerback's not five yards off, this route will get open. And you see if the cornerback drops back at all, he's going to get open underneath it. Same thing with man coverage. If the cornerback, um, once, once the receiver breaks to the outside, he's going to get open against man coverage too. This play can be an explosive play if you just put the X route on the street. You need to be going against a zone, any zone coverage, cover two, cover three, cover four put the x route on a streak and the y route will typically get open outside of it that was actually man coverage you can see how they bumped into each other and still got the guy open so that's something that even against man coverage you can use from time to time but like i said putting that y on a streak or the x on a streak the y route's going to get open outside of that cover three cover two cover four doesn't matter any zone coverage that streak's going to pull it back and get him open now i'm going to pick an actual man zero blitz in the overstorm brave so now that we know we have a cover zero i'm just going to check and release that running back put the x route on a streak and that's all i really got to do is that's really just going to hold the coverage and then you can see how big of a wide open throw we get because like i said those receivers being so close to one another are going to bump each other's defenders off quite a bit i call this a pick play basically this guy here sets the pick he doesn't even touch the defensive back it's actually the cornerback that's fighting to get across on the corner route i mean i probably could have threw to either one there because they're basically holding hands and getting in each other's way to the point where they're both open very consistent one play touchdown against cover zero like i said the check and release is key and then you can see, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I typically want to lob it and, and kind of lead inside so that, um, you know, it's away from the defender. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Now that play also did cover three last year. It does not do cover three this year. So let's go and let's move on to the cover three one play touchdown this year because there's not a lot in this formation. There's really only one out of the Z spot. So let's go and let's pick that. I'm going to first pick man zero because it actually has man zero one play touchdown written all over it as well. This is another one play touchdown against man zero. You just got to put the X route on a slant and that's going to really help to get these guys in each other's way once again as you can see we just get a very easy lob it up one play touchdown because you can see this guy cuts across the outside cornerback here is covering 16 this guy out here is covering 16 which is why this play works because the second he goes the slant you can see they bump into one another and they, i mean they're both open once again i mean you're basically you're getting that pick play to the point where i could throw to either one of these guys but of course i'm going to choose the one play touchdown but where this really has value is against cover three because like i said there's not a ton of cover three one play tutties so this play here i just showed this in a recent video all you got to do is put this running back on a streak motion them to the sideline and then put everybody on the streaks except for the y route that's all you got to do run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field then you're going to watch this safety the second that he starts to react like he did there you can see how this is a wide open throw over the middle even though i think i might have let it a little too far so let's go and let's do that again you like said you just have to put everybody on streaks and run from a hash that's all you got to do everybody on streaks except for the uh the y route and like I said, I'm watching that safety. The second I see him jump to those routes, I mean, you can see there's all types of space up this uh, seam here. Number one, this cornerback reacts just a little bit to this corner route, but it's all about what the safety is doing. The safety reacts heavily to the three receivers on the side. I'm really watching for that safety just to turn his attention at all. You see how he's just bobbing his head and hesitating and looking over there? The second I see that, I'm bullet and pass leading up this gap because you can see there's a huge amount of space inside from where this receiver is to that safety. I'll go and I'll do that again, because like I said, I know this is a play that people are gonna have to practice. It's just gonna be like the fade out last year. A lot of people couldn't figure out how to get the fade out work because the throw was so difficult, but you know what? That's just what it is. So you can see here once again, bullet, pass lead inside, easy up the lane. 
I obviously have my fastest receiver there, which is helpful, but at the end of the day, any receiver should do. Next up, I'm gonna choose the fade out. The fade out really has a lot of different coverage beers against a lot of different defenses. We're gonna start off with Tampa 2. Now against cover two, you got a couple of different options. You can put the X route on a streak and the A route on a drag, and the Y route's gonna be a very good play outside of this cornerback whenever he reacts to the, uh, the drag route, which he didn't even do, but he still got open. So that's one really good play. What I like about this formation the most, though, is that you can actually have some one-play touchdowns on the other side because your opponent typically might start to pay attention to what's going on in the two-wide receiver side based off of the fact that that's where all the one-play touchdowns come from. So motioning the B route, putting the A route on a streak, and then putting the X route or the Y route on a 10-yard out route really doesn't matter. I give myself a check down of some kind with the Y route, maybe like a drag or something. But this is pretty much going to be the play because the B route is going to be the guy now. As you're going to see, um, you know, he takes a little bit longer than some routes to get through the middle there. But you can see how you can get a 50-yard bomb from the other side of the field, which is nice. So that play has two against cover two zones. Going to pick cover two man and do the exact same thing. So we're going to do the same thing. Motion this guy in, put the A route on a streak, put the Y route on a drag or... You know, whatever you want to do. It really doesn't matter. Give yourself a check down of some kind. I'll go ahead and block the running back, though, because I do want a little extra pass pro. And you're going to see how this B route here, because he has inside release, doesn't get pressed or jammed at all. And we get a very easy one-play touchdown based on the fact that he's in close to the line of scrimmage. This play also has a lot of success against man coverages. So let's go ahead and let's pick the Overstorm Brave. So once again, motion this guy in, put the A route on a streak. And then when the wire out, I just want to get him out of the way. I can put him on any check down that I want, slant, drag, whatever. The running back, though, I'm going to put him on a better, a better check and release. That check and release is kind of a quick check and release. I want a little bit of air blocking. And based off the fact that the B route is inside, once again, he's not going to really give uh, a lot of opportunity for the cornerback trailing. And you can see how we get another one play touchdown on the other side of the field against cover zero. This play can also have success against man cover one. Now, this play here against cover one, these wheel routes are pretty good against cover one man this year, especially if it runs into the defender like it did there, as you can basically just lob it up and have a pretty good play. If I had my fastest receiver here, he'd probably be gone. Play also has a lot of success against cover four. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover four match first. Same setup, really. Just going to motion this guy in. I would say put the Y route on a 10-yard in route just to kind of keep those uh, deep safeties occupied. And you can see how the B route here is just, once again, inside release. The cornerback's trailing the entire way. Very easy play against cover four. So that's pretty much it for that play. And I left the best play for last in the PA read. The reason I picked random is because you have a lot of really good plays here. You have the A receiver, which is a good uh, check down, good zig against man or zone. You have the deep crossing Y route, which is going to be a good play, especially against man coverage. I would say the Y route is probably best against man cover one. I don't know if I'll actually get that look, but you can see how this guy's just, you know, streaking across. So you got some really good plays. If I want to, and I would say this is probably a good look if you really wanted to attack it this way, put the B route on a slant so you have two routes coming across the middle here. It really makes the middle linebacker have to choose choose his depth between the two but this play is also one play touchdown against every defense in the game i'm going to start off with cover zero this time against cover zero you just got to put the wire out on a fade that's all you got to do I'll, ca I'll check and release that running back one more time but basically the x route once he turns inside and he didn't even take that long as you can see that the two receivers bumped into one another or the two cornerbacks bumped into each other once again which is something that can always happen as you can see i mean i don't know Diggs must have been coming down here trying to make a play i don't know what happened but like i said you're going to get stuff like that you're going to get you know from this look you're going to get a lot of times where the cornerbacks just miss and your receivers are wide open. But even if he doesn't miss, as I'm going to put my running back on to check and release one more time, even if he doesn't miss, this X route, the second he gets inside, as you can see, once again, I mean, the cornerback is just whiffing. This play has a lot of success against a lot of different coverages, though. We're going to pick that again. We'll pick uh, cover two this time. Cover two, cover four, cover two, man, cover two, zone. it doesn't matter. It's going to be the same every single time. Fade that Y route one more time. And you can see how I could probably go either way against cover two here. You could, you could back shoulder throw that to the outside, to the Y route gonna fade that wire out one more time super glitchy look i can probably throw that wire out again but this is the this is the play as you can see we get a very uh, easy one play touchdown there We're splitting the safeties one more time so i'll check and release my running back again just for blocking although he didn't stay home very long that time like i said i could go either way here i mean i could throw it to this guy i could throw it to that guy it doesn't matter they're both wide open for one play touchdown against cover two next up we'll do cover two man same setup here it's gonna fade that wire out one more time super glitchy look I can probably throw to that Y route again, but this is the this is the play. As you can see, we get a very uh, easy one play touchdown there. We're splitting the safeties one more time. I'll try that one more time though to the Y route, just to see like right here, he squeezed past that. So I could easily get that up the top there just as long as I get a good throw. So cover two man, cover two zone. That is very capable of scoring with both receivers. 
Now, I said that this play hits a one play touchdown against every defense except cover three, but it turns out it actually does hit a one play touchdown against cover three. For cover three, run from a hash mark to the short side of the field, put the running back on a streak, and motion him to the line of scrimmage. You have to motion him twice to do that. Then put the Y route on a slant and the A route on a slant. And the A route from the tight end on a slant is actually gonna hold the cover three cornerback over where he is to the point where the X route is just gonna get wide open to the point where this is probably the most broken and easiest cover three point play touchdown out of the formation, even though I didn't get a good enough throw, catch and run. I'll do that one more time. Cause like I said, I wanna actually score here and I wanna get it on camera because I'm excited that I found a new play. So here we go, he cuts inside. Like I said, we're gonna get a good throw at some point as I can step into this. And he still kinda of had to come back to it, but you can see it's a one play touchdown against cover three. We're gonna do some cover fours this time. We'll do cover four quarters. And it's the same setup, nothing crazy here as the uh, the exact same receivers will get open as uh, Watkins just runs right across the, uh, the safety's face one more time for the exact same thing. Kinda of looks like the Y routes there too. Again, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up though. I'm actually going to take this uh, running back over here and put him on a wheel route because a lot of times that guy will get completely forgotten. As you can see, once again, the, uh, the, the Y route here is getting passed. I mean, they got superstar corners on both sides of the field. Tra uh, Trayvon Diggs is a 93 speed. So the fact that we're beating, you know, both of these receivers every single time are getting open for one play touchdowns against everything. Uh, it's nothing to do really with the, the receivers. It's the play itself. I don't know why. This does this with this fade, but he just runs right through this guy, just runs right past him. And then last but not least, we got cover four regular, which I haven't touched on yet because that's a very difficult defense to bombs. Against cover four, just put the Y route on a slant and run from a hash mark to the short side of the field. And that's all you gotta do to keep that strong safety home at a low depth to the point where the X route can get inside of him and just be gone, just as long as I get a good throw. Is that throw was actually a little bit short. It's out of range, but it still worked out as we have a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more practice mode style videos like this every single week when I put out a new offense to break down all the little things you can do with this uh, with these offenses, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have the gameplay of this video popping up right here. So if you guys want to check that out, see me using this stuff in live gameplay against live opponents, just click the link because I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.